Nice. You have all arrived um, and changed into your characters. I, I think you have a vague recollection, but I think for the most part, you've become your character. So okay. uh, it seems like the, your former self is a dream. The, the doors. Oh, well, they just slam shut suddenly uh, with a, a fierceness. And you hear this, this voice in the background and little tiny feet kind of scampering away. Look who's so, come. Go ahead. He stops talking when someone starts talking. <laughs> Look who's come, gnome, for the holidays. Or is it a human nature that brings you here? No matter. Oh. Colorless green ideas sleep furiously. Hey, is he saying gnome? He did. He sure did. Sure did. I didn't just imagine I, that. Yeah, I no. hope I'm high. I look over at you. Can we be high? Is that an option? I'm not. I'm not high enough for this. Are we no. high? No. Can we? No. <laughs> Have you ever been in a haunted I'm house? High. I'm gonna try the front door. Have you ever been in a haunted house on weed? Oh. <laughs> Does it make I, it better? Easy. That's a good idea, That's Frankie. That's my dude goes over to the door and like tries to open it. It's oh, locked. Lord. It's uh, wedge shut. I can't open it. I'm not strong I'm gonna enough. Out, I'm oh, going to try out my new strength and see if I can get the door open. Okay. I think that's fair to open it. <laughs> there there are two uh there are three other doors in this main entryway. Uh there's one that is straight uh forward. There's a door that a uh, black cat, a feral black cat walked into when you first arrived uh, just to the right and to the left uh, there is another door and the door ahead and, and to the left are shut but the door to the right is open Can we see inside the room? Yeah Through the door Do you, on the right? You want to go it's and look in the room? Peek in? It, it's a it's, uh, Surprisingly less dusty than you'd expected. It looks like a really nice room uh, with furniture, and it looks like a parlor. So, like, has somebody been living here? I thought no one lived here. Well, there's no dust in this room. It kind of, that that seems weird, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, there's a cat. Do you want to follow the cat? Cat? Maybe the last influencers that were in here cleaned it. Uh, oh, I'll stop seeing. As I see the enormous bird, I'm like, you're a big <laughs> goddamn bird. As I step back. You're going to open open up this clock. If you've got some lock picks and you want to open up this, I, you you could, you could try that. Um, has anybody just attempted to open the clock? Uh -huh. No, maybe we should do that. That sounds like a great <laughs> idea. I'm gonna just try to open it. <laughs> All right. Huh. Awesome. So I'm just like casually trying to unlock it as Zavi walks up. Like I slap your hand away. Well, Horses as you attempt good. to open the clock, I uh, would like you to make a reaction roll. Uh, you hear laughter in the, in, in the background, kind of from all over the entire uh, room. It it's, it's kind of fills up the room. Gnome, if you want to. Gnome around the world. You have, clock, you have clock shards in your tool bag. Like little metal <laughs> clock shards. Goblin behavior. <laughs> yeah. They're shiny. I mean, it's it's nice metal. It's so it's, it's theme, probably though. useful. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Violet started going around the edge of the room and uh -huh. using the, uh, the, the, you know, handle of her sword to basically tap the walls as she's going okay. around the room. Okay, uh, Violet, uh, at one point there's, uh, she gets to this big map. Do you, do you tap on the map or do you note it? Do you want to throw down? It feels like you should really tap on the map right now well what else? yeah because well, it's a map. big map it's a big map it's like the size of of the wall 
It's basically from about two or three feet up in the air to about ten feet up in the air. There's this big map. Do you do you want to yeah. perceive yeah, yeah. or oh, notice anything about it? This is like there's no there's no downside though. Do I? Yes. Yeah, I'll tap on the map. I'm okay. going around the room. The the map uh breaks apart into and, and disintegrates into a thousand pieces. Huh. Curious. And she'll and she'll uh, she'll she'll reach down and grab a piece if she can that's disintegrated. Well it it, it turns into a lake of mist. Oh okay, gotcha. Well, well I sure hope that map wasn't important to for us back in the, on the near map. future. <laughs> and as as this happens uh this gnome appears and there's right. a door that opens in the bookshelf and then the gnome disappears how, how uh, big I is the every gnome? how big is the uh, it's it's pretty small it's probably six inches maybe it's very tiny I like david the gnome style. oh i am not the or, shortest yeah. thing in the room no uh and then the gnome <laughs> disappears and then I want everybody to roll a reaction. Uh, it's the gnome that you noticed before. It just yeah, I pull out I pull out my switchblade and attack it. And you stab it with all your might, and your knife gets ah! wedged deep into this wooden gnome. Ah! And 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 you lift up your knife, and it's stuck to the gnome. They're made of wood. <laughs> So fire. That's what we gotta use. <laughs> Violet will walk over to where the dryad was and presumably where the gnome is now stabbed with the with the switchblade. And she'll 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 pick up her her sword again and snatch the gnome out of you know away from uh from the blade that is stuck on. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look at the uh the map to see if it's it might be a map of the house. Curious about the map. It's a map of the house, and it shows where we are, and shows where other people, maybe, might be walking around in the house. What do you make of this? It's a lot of gnomes. Yeah, that seems like... Gnomicide? There's yeah. no gnome way we could do that. <laughs> oh, God. Nobody um, knows. No, I definitely, I definitely feel, I feel strongly that I don't want to go in the basement, but I also feel strongly that we probably should. Unfortunately, no, I wouldn't think there would be a way out through the basement. So none of our phones work at all anymore. We can't take a photograph. You don't even have a phone. The phone and all no, of your equipment for li live oh, streaming oh, disappeared. Anyway. It's it's not in your ninja gear. It is it is vanished away from from reality. Oh, the lights that you brought. Quick question. Go ahead. Any anybody good at sketching? Real quick. Am I still picking shit up, or am I free from my trance? Uh, I think you're still in it, unless uh, somebody uh, comes to knock you out of it. I think you're stuck. Maybe maybe if we went went upstairs. No, uh, tried to. Uh, See if there's a way we, we could get out, get out through like the second floor or something. Yeah, I agree with him. I feel like there's a better chance of getting out through some of the upper floors in the basement. Plus the basement's just creepy and I'm really afraid of it. I wish I was back I at the restaurant with, with, with four tables full of asshole customers knowing full well I'm never going to get tipped. I'm going to serve them Whatever, whatever it is, they they want off the wine list. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they want. Just, just, just pick something. And uh, Violet, are you doing anything in this moment? Um, Violet will. Did you see like what's the nearest um staircase to where they're at right now? Well, then the closest staircase is is down the the stairs of the. Um, out the library, through the library. That's the closest uh, staircase. And we're in the library? Yeah, well, you're in the parlor. I mean, the parlor library. It's it's the library opened, and there's a hole that opened up 
uh, when when the map was originally destroyed. She'll decide to head towards there if she can. Okay. Time soon, so... I always go left. Left it is. All right. Wow. As, as, as we edge up to the door. You get to the door. As I, I, I reach out... It's the door open. Crowbear kicks the door open, apparently. A cock! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to uh, throw down and kick in the door? I'm going to bid bad bird. You're going you're to right. bid bad bird? This door is probably hundreds of pounds. That's a and heavy ass of, door. <laughs> <laughs> made out of solid oak. I mean, the door itself, it's like a that's double a, door. It's like an Amish door. <laughs> it's like a yeah. double yeah. door. Like, like two Amish doors put together. <laughs> it's a double door. Uh, Bobby admires the workmanship of the doors. For you to, <laughs> for you to try to so kick this door down. Kicking the door open? Uh, no, for you to kick this door down, you would need uh, uh, probably four successes. That's a big ass piano. How, how are you even wielding that bone mace? That, you don't have thumbs. <laughs> All right. oh, I meant to tell you this. I have anth I'm anthropomorphic. I'm somewhere between human and bird. So it's even more terrifying because I have phalanges and feathers. The hell's wrong right. with you? Big ass <laughs> fuck bird motherfucker. As he walks in the other room, I'm going to go play piano. I don't know how. All right, um, we're going to leave you guys in that room as we go to um, Violet, Ethan, and Frankie. So uh, Frankie and Ethan, you notice Violet uh, heading into the bookshelf and uh, the other three left into the other room. Heading into the bookshelf? Well, there's an open a door that opened in the bookshelf. Um, the files are in the computer. <laughs> Might as well see what's what's behind there. Behind there. I'm gonna go check it out. Uh, so you follow, you follow Violet. Uh, and Frankie. Well, as loath as I am to go in the basement, uh, I'm gonna follow them down the stairs. Okay. So the three of you, you guys, head into the basement. And there's this long, dark hallway once you get to the bottom of the stairs in front of you. It's, it's a room shrouded in suffocating darkness where rusty chains dangled, uh, uh, dangle. There's a suit of armor, boxes uh, om ominously from, uh, hanging from the ceiling, uh, their origins and purpose lost to the ages. There's a grotesque implements of science and history that torment lined uh, and the damp stone walls suggesting a connection to unspeakable suffering. Violet will lean in and look around and go, kinky. <laughs> and and so she'll, she'll, she'll go back and open the next door and lie. Oh, <laughs> on the way back, there are three ogres that suddenly appear, or trolls, uh, in this room. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and you hear, uh, you hear a very, uh, a very daunting, uh, the walls start rumbling again and you hear manufacturing consent. Let me make you feel more at gnome. Have a little cognitive revolution, if you will. And, and these, these are very, uh, scary. Uh, there's, there's one half size gnome there's like a middle gnome and then there's like a papa bear gnome and uh you they they look very angry do any of you gnome the way out of here <laughs> they look like they're getting ready to fight you are we are we aware because she she went into oh, yeah. the room yeah well I are presume... we aware of what's going on with her? Yeah, like, do presume... we hear like a motion yeah, I, I presume you guys followed her. Uh, you guys okay. are just kind of sticking together. All right. So you guys kind of see these guys jump from out of the, the woodwork and the walls. Cheers. Basically, I this... I say, uh, let's, go, let's go upstairs. Screw it. This scares the shit out of uh, Frankie and uh, Ethan. 
So, so I, you know, obviously I failed, and so I'm afraid. Uh, can I um, throw something in my fear? Like, uh, sure. If you yeah, were like freaked out about something, and you like, you know, like yeah, throw absolutely. Something. If you want to throw okay. something, you are in a room full of boxes and shit that's, and that's, chains. That's one of my. And, that's one of my and, weapons. Is yeah. So you could you could absolutely pick up anything around you and give it a toss. What's what's handy like a box or something? <laughs> or like yeah, I mean there's box? like there there's a bunch of heavy things next to you if you want to give one of them a toss. All right. Um, well, gonna... There's a table. There's there's maybe a a, a metal chair that was used for. Um, WWF. Yeah, yeah, the I'm WWF. Gonna throw a chair. I'm, I'm the torturing. Gonna... I mean, it's it's not like an unheavy chair. It's probably an 80 or 100 pound chair so it's a heavy okay. ash chair basically uh you you pick up this and this is not a regular chair this is like a chair that they use to torture people it's a heavy ass fucking metal chair you throw it and some of the implements are kind of dangling around on the chair and they stab through uh the face the torso and one of the legs pinning like <laughs> staple pinning this troll into the back wall of this junky room. That troll so is I dead. It's okay. Okay. And there's there's no coming back from that. So we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and say uh you're standing in a room with two trolls now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sort of okay. Good. Yeah, he's doubled over because yeah. uh, I thought uh, I thought this guy Violet, was pretty pretty hurt to start with. So. Yeah, Violet uh, jabbed him a couple of times, so yeah. No, so I'm gonna bonk good. him on the back of his head while he's kind of vicious. The vicious JK, James Tiberius Kirk, baby. Just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as you do, your your clean fist, because you've got your wet fist that, that you had to pull out of the other one, you bonk him with your other clean fist, uh, smashing his skull, and uh, you are now bloody. Uh, you have Both your hands are full of blood, and, and you are a bloody mess. Uh, all of the trolls in this room are now dead. Uh, fingers Booty. on the keys. Oh, damn it. The keys start to get incredibly cold. Like, so cold that if you left your fingers on the keys just for a second longer, you would be afraid that your fingers might freeze off. And you, oh, you kind of duck and jump off to the side of the <laughs> piano. Help uh, it roll! I yell just, as I do. <laughs> just as uh, a whole bunch of ghosts, a whole mess of ghosts appear suddenly in the room and the air becomes frigid. You, every breath you take, you see the mist uh, out your mouth and you feel a, ch feel a chill that, that gets to your very core and your bones and you are freezing. Fuck it. I'm going to dig into the trinket trench coat and see what I can find. Okay. Uh, if it doesn't have a trait, what 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 do you pull out of your trinket tr trench coat? Um, so it does have a trait. Um, it's just random. Okay. Like whatever I... You can pull out something random and you roll as to whether or not it's helpful. Whether so... or not it pulls out the thing I suggest. Okay. So... Um, I want to pull out. Let's see. Never pull out. Uh, hey. Yeah. Get a vasectomy. Just kidding. No, I'm not though. Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna pull out a bigger, like an aluminum baseball bat. Okay. Uh, add a D4 to your. Um. Um. You hear. Such who needs. Standard, such who needs standard theory syntax. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And suddenly, another dryer, dryad appears. Violet. I keep on keep on forgetting my character's name because I'm so used to playing Leah at this point. Uh, um, Violet will, will look at the dryad and go, Are you here for my soul too? Uh, they look at you like there is you are violating their space they look at you 
and their eyes are piercing and they are angry and their teeth start to snarl. Uh, they, they emerge from the water uh, as, as if they were even part of the water. They were a creature of the water. Uh, yeah, at that point, Vile will just sort of start walking up closer to it. If you want to fight, I'm right here. Uh, and they look like they're getting ready to attack you. Um, I'll throw a punch. All right. Everybody th roll to attack. Yeah, the door opens and it leads to the kitchen. Holy shit, it opened by itself! As I like slowly go in. Oh. We're in the goddamn kitchen! He turns. And sudden, suddenly. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! I think something's gonna jump out at me! <laughs> suddenly a gnome appears. Fuck! Oh! It's like, right. it's like a gnome. It's like a gnome goblin. I'm going to bid. Bead. I'm gonna bead. I'm gonna bid. <laughs> uh. <laughs> tough as i'm like ha and i jump behind the crow okay <laughs> oh my god and i'm gonna bid scrappy and i'm just gonna kick the fuck out of the gnome okay all right i no, sailor man dive i'm just yeah <laughs> i sailor man dive behind the bird sure hey he's not afraid um, he's tactical yes yeah, the okay. the you hear the walls start to shake, and as as this all kind of start uh, starts to happen, you hear in your mind, "So you're trying to eat me out of house and gnome." Oh my god! You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> There's food. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, the the kitchen is full of oh. the most delicious food you'd ever seen in your life. It smells delightful mm -hmm. like there mm -hmm. there is nope. Nope. there is uh spices and it feels like warmth in your soul nope and nope and this gnome looks like a cook <clears throat> the gnome i kick or a different gnome that's a different gnome did, did he uh, kick, oh, did he oh, kick no. one of the gnomes did uh the gnome you kicked you haven't kicked any gnomes in the kitchen yet so I don't think anybody's gotten oh. close to the gnomes. You, have, okay, you okay, haven't, okay. you haven't kicked a gnome run and kickball. I think that's all of us. We, we've, we've, we've done everything. Yeah, <laughs> I think we did a thing. Because the only other thing in the room was the gnome that was scared of us. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, right now, you're in a kitchen. Everything I will smells eat amazing. Uh, I will eat. I will Good be God. Food. You gain plus two to your mind. Hey guys, there's a stairwell nearby that goes to the next level. <laughs> How do you know that? How you hear from down that? the hallway? I studied the map. Oh. I go that way. Go just because <laughs> everybody else seems like they're just waiting around. I'm just making a decision, and there I go. Follow the goblin. <laughs> Violet, will, Violet will go ahead and start heading that way as well. All right. So we're. I let the vampire the go first. <laughs> We're up to the second floor. Uh, at the top of the second floor, there is a hallway. You can go uh, straight, left, or right. I'll go straight. So... You're going to go straight? I thought you always went left. Fuck, dead. you're right. I go left. <laughs> uh, so... I'm going to go going right. Left. Are, are we going left? I'll go right? straight. We're, going left right. <laughs> We're splitting the party. <laughs> We're splitting the party. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. <laughs> I guess, are you going right with me or are you going right left? Or are you going All right, right? Make, make a call of. Make a call of <laughs> who's with who? Who's with who? I'm going right. right. to the so right. We're together. We're together. Together. When are you ever apart? Is what I'd like to know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um. But as you guys kind of go in your separate direction, you hear something incredibly hard land, like this noise come from outside. But it sounded like something landed on the roof. Just a massive. Mm -hmm. Dump. 
the, so the stairs can, keep have, going up. Yeah, but you're on the second floor. Back. Uh, well, you can go up to the third floor at the very least. I go left. I want to know what the thump was. I'm going. Up. So who's who's going upstairs? Show hands. Everybody but um, Jones is going upstairs. Yeah, I'm going left. So we went right. <laughs> we Jones went, we went left. Right. Y'all went up. <laughs> oh, so we've split the party terribly. Okay, Jones. Three ways, and Jones is alone again. You've, you've, you're by right, yourself. Stay by. And what the fuck? You're in this room. It looks like it's the master suite. Like there's a bed and everything. There's a bed and everything. Oh hell you yeah! Walk in the door. It's, it's like there's a bed and there's a wedding dress. Oh fuck! And it's, it's, it's folded over the bed. I go over to the bed. I'm like, and there's another room. There's, there's another a... room. <laughs> Fuck's this wedding dress doing here? How big is the wedding dress? Like normal human sized? Uh, no, it's it's very small. It's like for a doll. I stab it with my knife. Well, you have yeah. this. It looks like it's been sitting there for a very long time. Yep, I stabbed the shit out of it with uh, uh, I mean, uh, there's I, I'm not, I like, don't go in and close the door. I'm standing there looking in the closet. There, There is like older clothing, probably from maybe 200 years ago. Uh, moth eaten. It looks like if you touch any of it, it's gonna like fall apart into little pieces. I do. I go ah ah, ah ghosts. But in there, hacking away at all the clothes, and they're disintegrating. You're getting covered in mold and dust. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to put the gnome in my jacket. Okay. Um. Of course you are. <laughs> uh, I want to search the desk. You search the desk and, and you find papers and um, a lot of it's washed out and faded. Hey, Love hey, I got an idea. We could get out of here if we took took some of the books in the study and just threw them through the window. Like make a hole and I... then we can just crawl out. I love that for you. I feel like that's not the plan. Okay. All right. What do you do? I'm going to try to put the gnome in my jacket. Okay. Thank you. you. Do. The gnome is now in your jacket. You've got a wooden oh my gnome. God. You can add to your... All right. So you are headed upstairs to the third floor. You can make the choice on if you want to go to the fourth floor or uh, walk around the third floor. Oh, let's go up to the oh, penthouse. Yeah, I want to investigate the thump. Okay. So, you make it up to the attic. And there is a much thinner hallway. Um, but in that hallway, there is a painting. Uh, you so hear in the, the background... And you see a little gnome pop out and say, first off, they say, what the fuck are you doing to my painting? And then they say, what sports takes place on the highest mountain peaks and at sea level? I'm guessing you'll never know. And then they vanish. I'll just yell basically back in the direction that they were. Yeah, well, if you hadn't trapped us in here, I wouldn't have destroyed your painting now, would I? Uh, you hear some thumping down the hallway, just like growling and something terrifying. Just absolutely disturbing as fuck. Oh yeah, that's exactly the, the direction that Violet goes in. You see Jones. Oh, light? <laughs> Run roof? by. There's all this dust okay, flying so off of him. Go to the roof. <laughs> Jones runs by. He's like covered in dust and moth. As he comes back, <sighs> I'm going to the roof. The hell are you all doing? Low light roof. Ah. <laughs> and it's it's uh it's basically there's this massive frightening thing that it's drawing you towards it 
Two successes. Two successes. So that is also limbo. You get the feeling that you should be headed towards this, but it's like every in instinct kind of makes you feel like you should be going the other way, but you're compelled to move towards this loud sound. Uh, and as you as you walk down this hallway, like the shaking of the house seems to get a little warmer. And um, have you figured it out yet? Does anybody have any ideas? The game of life and death. At this point, I'm just uh, collecting gnomes, so I, I like I'm he, just gonna go like try starts, to pick up. He's like starts <laughs> shaking and dancing around, and he's like singing, "Same my gnome, same my gnome." Kill him. Um, Say, baby, I love you. <laughs> I mean, my I don't know, my guess has has like, I don't even know why, other than the, the pun factor. But for some reason, I feel like this has to do with something like Noam Chomsky. <laughs> That's the word of the day, Noam Chomsky. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> so, uh, the... among all the Go gnomes, ahead. among all the gnomes, did they select their leader through a nominating committee? <laughs> it's the only gnome I could think of. So, so Noam Chomsky, the little gnome, uh, starts to shake and shake and rattle and like move and like basically explodes in this magic shit and you all get sprayed with like magic gnome nuts and bolts and nuts? anything <laughs> anything that makes up a gnome hey, wait hold on so we got splooshed by the gnome, gnome, the gnome ejaculates down the hallway on all of us <laughs> yeah I've like, already had worse uh, today, so. yeah I'll say Frank is Frankie is already goopy he like <laughs> and 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 you hear this voice this very seductive voice uh compelling you to come to the balcony uh and it's just at the end of the hallway and it's raining outside and you're standing Wait. and you feel <laughs> go ahead a gnome just ejaculated down the hallway on all of us and now we're compelled to the balcony Okay. Well, okay. You've been you've been hypnotized. You've been called. Uh called really is what it is. And you you're coming. standing here on on the balcony at the precipice with the moon uh feeling like you violated. can stay <laughs> a little violated. You could stay or you could go. But uh it's, you know, the world and you kind of feel like your powers fading <laughs> a little bit and you're becoming normal human zens <laughs> once again. And somebody hears like a little text message and a little ding and, you know, you've got your Wi-Fi back 